What is up guys? Fahir here from AwesomeDudes.com and I have a huge announcement for you. In my most popular course, you will learn how to create RPG and first-person shooter multiplayer games. And you can get that course at a huge discount. And this is not the best part. The best part is that I have created a special coupon code and when you use it to enroll in the course, you will automatically be enrolled in my giveaway competition and you will get a chance to win some cool prizes. What are those prizes? Well, first place is gonna get a 15 inch MacBook Pro. Second place is gonna get an iMac 27 inch with Retina 5K display. And third place is gonna get a 13 inch MacBook Pro. All you have to do to enroll in this competition is enroll in the course and link to it is in the description below. You will also find another link to the video where I explain about the giveaway competition in more depth. In short, I will record myself drawing the winners and sending them their prizes depending on which places they are or they win first, second or third. So we'll see me sending these MacBook Pros and you will see me announcing the winners and I will post that on my YouTube channel. So again, first prize will win a 15 inch MacBook Pro. Second prize is 27 inch iMac with 5K Retina display. And third place is 13 inch MacBook Pro. What is up guys? Fahir here from AwesomeTudes.com and before we proceed to create our game, let us take a short preview what is the game that we are going to create. So if I hit the play button here we have a simple main menu with some animations and a play button. Nothing too fancy but hey, you know me, I need to add some menus in the game and show how you can navigate from one menu to another menu because well, people are always confused about that. So here we can only click on the play button, it will take us right away in the gameplay. When we jump we hear some sound, so I am gonna turn on or turn off my volume a little bit. You see some obstacles that we have here and we need to avoid those obstacles such as the ninja or the squirrel that you just saw. We can kill all of these enemies while we are in the air. So while we are in the air, we are able to kill all the enemies. But if we are standing like this right here, they can kill us as you just saw. When we die, we preview here the high score or the height that we reached. We can click again to play our game again, or we can well click on the main menu to go back to the main menu. So nothing too fancy, but hey, we will see a lot of cool features such as this right here. For example, the camera is not moving at all. If I select the main camera, you will see that the position of the main camera is at Y equals zero. So we're not moving the main camera at all. We are moving the actual backgrounds and whatnot and moving the enemies and all of those cool stuff we are going to see. So uh, let's get into it and create this cool game. I'm going to go in another Unity editor that I have created and we are going to import the assets. This is, by the way, a 2D project. So when you create a new project, you are going to select that 2D checkbox or radio button, not the 3D one. Name your project and store it wherever you want. So first things first, here are the assets. By the way, these assets, you can download them. Link is in the description below. So you will see something like, want to use the assets for this tutorial and the complete project. You can get it on the link below. So click on the link and it will take you where you can download these assets. So simply select all of these folders. So we have buttons and or backgrounds and buttons, enemies and obstacles, player and the sounds. So I'm going to select all of these folders and simply drag and drop them right here in my Unity editor. And it is going to start importing all of those assets. Besides from importing the assets, we are going to create a main menu or the main menu that you just saw in the preview in this video also. So I'm going to right click here and create a new folder. So again, it's right clicking here in the project tab. So right click, create a new folder. This is going to be our scenes. So not scene, but scenes. It's plural, plural not singular. And I'm going to save this scene by holding command and pressing S and it's going to open it here to save it, of course, or you can go under file, save scenes and bam, here you are. 
I'm gonna select the scenes folder and this is gonna be our main menu. So main menu and I'm gonna hit enter. Now what do we need for our main menu? Well of course we need a canvas and we need the background image. So I'm gonna right click in the hierarchy tab right here and by the way if you want to rearrange how your unity editor looks like you can simply drag and drop all of these tabs you can put them here you can I don't know put them right here you can make them float like this if you like it like that I don't know which techniques you are using to well create your games but this is how you can do it and you can save the layout for well later reuse by going on the top right corner right here you have the layout drop down list and then you can click on the save layout and then simply name it here and click save and voila you're good to go and I have saved mine as my layout and if I click it again BAM this is what I have let me just go here click on the resolution and by the way I'm glad that this has happened because I see a lot of people have troubles with this so I'm gonna use the resolution 480 by 800 for this tutorial now if you don't have it here if I assume and you need to go under game tab so game tab is right here if you don't have it it's under window and then you can click on game right here and any tab that you see here animation animator console hierarchy inspector they are all under window and here they are so scene tab game tab inspector hierarchy project animation blah 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 so this is where you open these tabs now regarding to the game tab right below it you have a drop down list where you can select resolutions mine is as i already said 480 by 800 if you don't have it you see this little plus circle right here at the bottom you can click on that plus circle and it's going to open this pop-up window the label here is the actual name for your resolution so it can be full hd for example here you have fixed resolution or aspect ratio. Aspect ratio is like 16 by 9, 16 by 10, but the fixed resolution is where you can write 480 by 800. And when you click OK, bam, here it is, full HD, 480, 800. These in parentheses is the actual resolution. And the first thing here is the name. I named this on 480 by 800. As you can see here in parentheses, that's the resolution. I'm gonna click it back again to my 480 by 800 and I'm gonna delete this full HD by right clicking on it and clicking delete and BAM this is how we do so this is how we create these resolutions in game tab moving forward in the hierarchy I'm gonna right click go under UI and create an image now before I proceed to do anything I'm gonna select the canvas rename it to UI canvas for the render mode, we have screen space overlay, screen space camera, and world space. I'm going to select screen, screen space camera and attach the main camera, which is going to make this canvas obey the camera. As you can see, this whole thing right here, this big thing, this big rectangle is the canvas. But notice now, when I drag the main camera here for the render camera, bam, the canvas is right here where the camera is. If you want to know a little bit more about these and what they are, Unity Technologies has an official tutorial explaining what is the render mode for screen space overlay, screen space camera and world space. Simply type Unity canvas render mode or canvas tutorial or something like that and you will find that video. And I also talk about this in my courses. So you can check those courses out below is the link to all of my courses so I'm gonna select screen screen space camera as I already said for the UI scale mode I'm not gonna select scale bit pixel size or constant pixel size I'm gonna select scale with screen size and I'm gonna set the resolution to be 480 by 800 the one that we are using and here screen match mode it's gonna be 0.5 so that the canvas and his UI children will match the width and the height equally. Now taking this image, I'm gonna put it in the middle of the screen. This is what we see here. And if we go back into the project and the backgrounds and buttons right here, we have the background. So if I select the UI image and I'm gonna drag and drop the background right here and bam, here it is. This is our background. Now, of course, 
here I'm gonna say background image. I'm gonna click on native size, so set native size. This is when we select the image and in the inspector panel, in the camera or here in the image, we have a property and we have a button called set native size. If I click on it, bam, here it is. This is the native size of our, well, background. So you can see here the background now is covering the whole screen. We are also going to duplicate this background and it's going to be the title. So here I'm going to name it title image. So title IMG or image. And I'm going to search here in backgrounds and images for title. Here it is. This is title. And I'm going to put it right here where the source image is. And bam, here it is. This is our image. Now, again, in regards to dragging and dropping these images, you can simply drag and drop it like, well, like I did. Or you can click on the little circle here where it says source image and then you can search for the image right here and simply type for example title here it is and bam here you are and title is spelled with two T what did I do here let me just go here and it's title like this is it spelled with two T yeah I don't care I'm gonna spell it like that and in regards to the width and the height of the title image is gonna be 430 so 430 for the width and for the height, 390. And position Y, I'm going to say at 252. This is where we want it. So this is what we currently have for that image. Now, when you select it, here you have a rec transform and you have position X, position Y, position Z, width and the height. This is where I set the width for 30 and the height 390. Let me just fix the scale to one. It, for some reason, it's at 0.99. So I'm just fix it for, well, to be at one. What we also need is a button background, which is also going to be, well, an image. So I'm going to duplicate this title image and this is going to be BTNBG. This is how I'm going to name it. And it's this blue shield. So simply select the button BG, drag and drop the blue shield right here where it says source image and bam, here it is. Now the width of this is going to be at 372. The height is going to be 206 and the position Y for it is going to be at 31. Why like that? Well, now because we have a button and in order to create a button, we simply need to right click UI and we have a button and bam, here it is. This is our button. Now we are not going to use this default one. We are going to edit it. So this is going to be our play BTN. This I'm going to name it. If you click on the drop down list for the button, you will see it has a text by default. You see this button that is written, that's because of the text. If I deactivate it, you see we don't have the text anymore. So I'm gonna delete it, we don't need it. And select the play button and select the play texture, drag and drop it here under source image, UI sprite and bam, here we are. The width of this is gonna be 181 and the height is gonna be 75. And position X for it's going to be zero position Y is going to be 23. So this is our main menu. Now you saw in the preview that this circle was well circling around. It had an animation. This jungle was also stretching and going back, stretching and going back. So these are the animations that we are going to create, but we're going to start with that in the next video. Fire here from awesometudes.com. Catch you guys then. Before we end this video, don't forget that you can enroll in my most popular course, create your first RPG and first person shooter multiplayer game in Unity. Link is in the description below. And when you enroll in the course, you will also enroll in my giveaway competition and get a chance to win one of my cool prizes. First place will win a 15 inch MacBook Pro. Second place will win iMac 27 inch with 5K Retina display and third place will win a MacBook Pro 13 inch laptop. Now all you have to do to enroll in the giveaway and get a chance to win one of these cool computers is enroll in the course. Again, link is in the description below.